Hey, hey friends! <laughs> we bought a teardrop trailer. Yes. As you can see, we are in it right now. Mm-hmm. Very cozy. Super cozy. Got a little uh hot toddies. Hot toddies to keep us warm. It's 40 out. 60 in here. Woohoo. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to share our adventure and our journey with you guys. So this is our first of our series of videos. Um, we'll be able to share our trip our, that we took it on. Right. Well, our trip to get out there to get the trailer. Because we bought a teardrop, but they built it in Bend, Oregon. Corey thought it was a fantastic <laughs> idea. He, so you guys, he loves to tell a story. He's so nice because he gives me credit. Like I was super like just easy going along with his idea. <laughs> He's, he starts it out. Oh, so we decided, no problem, we'll go out to Bend, Oregon. He decided, no problem, we'll go out to Bend, Oregon. That's not a problem. We'll drive out the 25 hours to get there. <laughs> he eventually convinced me, obviously. <laughs> it's like the perfect pandemic road trip. You drive out, pick up a house, and then tour the desert. With your home. Yeah. All we had to do was get there. In the dead of winter. Right. <laughs> In December. <laughs> so he was a little crazy and he just brought me along with this crazy and I'm actually really thankful for it. So love this guy. Love you too. <laughs> so we shot everything, um, working through editing all the videos. Uh, we're excited to share it with you. Uh, the, the start of the trip was a, a little more stressful than we originally planned it being. Just, just a little rocky, a couple challenges, some some struggles, kind of mm -hmm. very 2020-esque. So uh, today is a little behind the scenes of getting everything packed and ready to go. And then we'll start, once I finish editing everything, we'll start throwing out every, all of our trip. Yeah. Yeah. So cheers friends. Thanks for coming along with our journey and I hope you enjoy and laugh and cry along with us <laughs> through the experience. So. <laughs> <sighs> Cheers, enjoy. Good morning. Hey. It's Christmas morning, still Christmas bedhead. And we are, as usual, last minute packing our clothing. Here's the bed. Wool socks galore. Underlayers, underwear. Yeah, I think we're set. And we did it. All of the clothes fit. Okay, friends, here as we are packing up our stuff, thought I'd share a little behind the scenes here in our uh, attempt at getting creative, packing all our food that we need for two weeks so we can just go wherever the wind takes us once we get our camper trailer and we can hit the road. Um, planning to just kind of find campsites wherever so whether we have electricity or not uh, we can make use of it or not need it so we've got all our food and all our stuff um, anyway so let me show you okay our house is a little bit of a mess here <laughs> as we're working on trying to get everything set and it's Christmas so you can see our tiny little Christmas tree and the teeny tiny Christmas tree I just finished making um, anyway Oh, here's our travel scotch we are planning to bring. That's always a must uh, along the road. A little something to bring in the new year here. And I felt like being extra cheesy and bought this to Chris and our camper. So anyway, that'll be fun. But anyway, here is our food. So I thought I'd just show a little, little bit about how we packed and what we're planning to do for two weeks of food and try to be kind of minimal as possible. Um, so we have got um, a mix of these bags of riced cauliflower that we can just heat up as well as the lovely Costco quinoa brown rice. And that goes fantastically with these different um, Indian curry type foods, our Trader Joe's, our favorite, the yellow taco doll, um, things like masala or madras lentils. So we mix that 
with um, get this out with some of the Costco canned chicken. It's really good quality. Um, so that mixed with that plus some different fresh vegetables. We'll bring with some celery, some onions. We've got um, peppers, grapes, um, apples, some things that don't need to be refrigerated. Really, the majority of it doesn't. Um, we're bringing a, a cooler with, but really trying not to be dependent on that. Um, so that's kind of our dinner plans for lunch um, and on the trail as we're spending out day hikes and things like that. We've got stuff that really we can just open the pack up and eat. Eat it with some celery, eat it with some crackers. Uh, like this, we actually tried it. Tip, make sure that when you buy creative, easily packable things like this, try it before you bring it with on your trip. We learned that we love the chicken salad, but there's like a lemon pepper chicken one. Not so tasty. Um, this one was just kind of cute. It's kind of similar to this, but it comes with a little crackers in the kit and everything. So anyway, of course, you know me, I love anything tiny, so I thought it was adorable. Had to get it. Um, there's some salmon we can mix some different seasonings and things with, have it with rice and vegetables. Um, so really all stuff that um, lasts for quite a while if we don't use it. It's good till 2023. So we got this fantastic pancake mix from Costco. I did try like a smaller version we bought from Cobb. Um, of this same stuff just to see how it tastes. It tastes really good when you put some cinnamon nutmeg in it as well, but it's um, good higher protein and it's just add water. So fantastic. Of course, we got to bring our oatmeal. Corey just like lives on this stuff. Oatmeal and a little uh, cinnamon in the morning. And some potatoes if we want to have that. So that's kind of main dinner box. Um, then we've also got our box here of all of our canned goods and some extra things like jerky and so this stuff it's good. Trail snacks. So let me just pull this stuff off here. So to kind of pair up with our dinner. Um, so we've got our spices. Oh this was Corey's beautiful creation. So to bring with some of our basic seasonings with us we uh, bought a pill container and just relabeled it and the two on the end since we love cinnamon so much are both cinnamon mm. um, we got salt and pepper grinders that have the grinder on the top so nice and candy all in one um, but otherwise we've got chicken and then uh, we are bringing with some tomato paste tip with this is bring the paste instead of the sauce because you just mix it with water, add your own seasonings, and you're good to go. And it packs a lot smaller. We've got some beans. I think I brought some garbanzo beans are in there somewhere. Yep. So you can mix that. We've got some diced tomatoes. They taste just as good as fresh. Kirkland's got a good brand. I feel like I'm kind of selling for Costco here, but it is pretty fantastic. We've got some green beans. Um, minced garlic, when we open that, we'll throw that in the fridge. Everything but the bag, all Trader Joe's. Thank you, that stuff is the best. Um, just a little, like, tomato pesto and basil pesto, so we can have a little tasty. Got some bullion cubes, if you need that. Um, some bacon bits. Um, and it's all these jars and things. Bringing my handy dandy jar opener a little bit of oil and that's kind of that container okay oh back to the first container so in our breakfast and our dinners and everything Corey pre-ground our coffee we've got it separated out some for our front press and some for that percolator and he's got that labeled out he is so organized I love it um, one thing we did have to bring in our snack um, pack here. I've never had this. I've seen this classic like Jiffy Pop. So that's kind of one random thing here. But anyway, so that's kind of the canned goods. Um, one tip with this. So we had planned to do like a big bin like this. And then um, Corey got the bright idea of separating it out into 
the different containers so that way we're not just rummaging through a whole pile of stuff. Um, it'll be easier to get to. So our last one here is this container with some of our dried foods. Um, we have our bread, fits perfect in here, and then I put this just to keep it from getting kind of poked and squished from different things. So we've got some baking soda. It's a good kind of safety, the nurse and me you know, needing to bring that out. Um, helps with grease fires. Um, we've got honey and the tiniest, cutest little thing of mayo. I love it. Um, of course, essentials. A little black box wine and the smaller container. Some s'more stuff. So we've got graham crackers and marshmallows. And then just other dried foods. Um, we've got some potatoes in here. We've got a butternut squash. I'll cut it and make with things. Flour tortillas. Um, and then just a bunch of dried, dried fruits and some more turkey bites. Um, this box actually it's uh, fruit strips, but it's a few fruit strips plus some like date fig nut bars. Our raisins. Let's some tortellini and some pasta. So that is it. So really, as you see, a lot of that stuff, it's all shelf stable, um, but all still really good quality food. And that is kind of that. This is our splurge snack box. <laughs> you gotta have a snack box. Um, especially since we're going over New Year's. And Oh, this is wrap present. Bought some shortbread from Edinburgh, so <laughs> Corey's Christmas present. I wrapped it and made him wait. Um, it's one of the things <laughs> he surprised me with this. Pretty excited to try that. Um, this is for New Year's, so probably not the healthiest if this is shelf-stable cheese, but either way, it's fun. Um, and then just some of our favorite snacks. Uh, it's probably way more than we need, but um, our tea essential. This stuff is the best. Um, and then some Scottish tablets. So I just had to bring a little taste of Scotland, England with us. Um, we had this on our last couple trips and I found it on Amazon. So thank you, Amazon, for some British treats. And then those triple ginger cookies, thin but pack quite a punch of a flavor. And then Corey's much loves your waffles. So that's our snacks. So there you have it. That's our bit of food we've got packed so far. So our next uh, task is to fit that plus all of our bedding and camper trailer stuff and all that jazz in our car. Once we get the camper, it'll all like fit in the camper. So that'll be great. But um, it's like a little bit of a game of Tetris, so wish us luck. Okay, a little more behind the scenes downstairs here. I will warn you, it's a bit of a chaos here down here, but let's check it out. All right, so we have got um, our bedding all set up in space saver bags here. So we're really needing to do this because we've got to pack everything in our... CX-5 crossover, which eventually will live in the camper. Say hi, Corey. Hey. <laughs> the panicked rush of packing. But we've got our blankets. So it's our soft, our soft blankets, one blanket each with a pillow, down pillow and packed nicely in these. This shrunk it down by like a fifth the size. Has our fleece queen size blanket plus our heated blanket that plugs in um, if it gets cold enough. Our nest pillow to christen our camper trailer, but as you can see, nicely squished down. So for good packing. And then these are like our couch pillows. They're like a really soft, squishy fill, but as you can see with this, squished down pretty nicely. So. Um, we've got our rugs, our sheets, our bins that will hold our stuff once we're in the um, camper. Um, I've got our quilt. Our quilt that packed down pretty nicely. Another way just to kind of protect it in the car as well. 
Um, this is our camping bin. So it's got all of our um, mostly kitchen stuff. We've got our body wipes kind of stacked on the top of that too, but this has got everything we used when we went tent camping. So we are able to keep that pretty condensed. Um, and it's got our pots and pans, our broom, our utensils, kind of everything in that space. Um, we've got a new wash basin to bring with. Some of our um, cleaning supplies and paper towels, some Clorox wipes. Um, we've got our hammocks in that container. This is some of our electronics. So of course he's got this all kind of pared down, lights and headlight to be able to get to the bathroom at night. Command strips for the camper because we're not really sure what to expect and how we're going to use that space. We've got towels and things in here, our first aid kits in here, some of our toiletries. Um, so that's all together, these old bins that will sit on our shelf once we're in there. And so we're hoping we plan well. But this is a first for us, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's our bed. That's all folded up, tri-fold, and then that's got like the map that goes underneath it. So that'll lay flat in our CX-5. But my next chore, wish me luck, is getting this guy <laughs> squished down into this bag. So we'll see what happens. Okay, update. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it. This is what it looks like so far. I don't know. A third of the way? We'll see what happens. We made it fit. He needed his muscles. Guys, we did it. Look at this. Just barely it's like busting at the seams i'm gonna tape it but it shrunk it down like a third the size so all thanks to this man here wrestling our bedding <laughs> thanks love yeah, no problem. <laughs> so everything fit in the bags that we intended to get but not everything fit in the car <laughs> <laughs> I tried four or five different ways to, to shove, jam, and crush it all in, and it didn't work. He's a master Tetris player, so it was like, okay, confidence. I'll get the stuff in the bins, organization in the home, <laughs> everything in space saver bags that I possibly could do. This guy Just... trying to cram it in the car. Anyway, it was it was Christmas Day while we were doing all of that. Because life, right? And so a little mm -hmm, bit of procrastination mm -hmm. in a perfect world. We totally had the intentions of like doing a test run, packing it all like in the bins and packing it into the car ahead of time, like prior to Christmas. And that just didn't happen. So we were doing that in true Cory and Cherry fashion, like up to the last minute. Yeah. Yeah. So we woke up the next morning. The 26th, drove to O'Reilly's because it was the only place in the metro that had a car top carrier in stock. Well, and it had to be one of the soft ones. Right. We didn't have a roof rack on our CX-5, so we were kind of limited in our options. And we didn't want to have to carry it around afterwards. Yeah. So it was nice because we used it, then folded it back up and just shoved it in a corner. Right. So tomorrow... We started driving, and you'll see those videos soon. So like and subscribe, and go on this journey with us. Cheers.